The former president of Brazil is sentenced to nine and a half years in prison on corruption charges. Corruption has been widespread throughout the country. And joining me now is One America's Taizi Perenci and to explain what is happening in Brazil. Taizi. Thank you. Well, Brazilian politics is not in its best shape right now, with former President Dilma Rousseff being impeached last year and current President Michel Temer facing corruption charges. Now, Rousseff's predecessor, Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva, was found guilty today of corruption and money laundering in the first of five trials he faces. According to prosecutors, Lula accepted more than a million dollars worth of bribes from an engineering firm in return for his help in winning contracts with state oil company Petrobras. Lula says he is innocent and blasted the trial as a partisan witch hunt. Patrick. And Taizi, can you explain uh, whether this conviction, the nine and a half years, will it affect the country's upcoming presidential election? Because that is vital. Yes. Shockingly, over the past few months, Lula has continued his campaign and has actually garnered his position as a leading candidate in the presidential race in 2018. He left office six years ago with an 83 percent approval rating after implementing an array of social policies. And he remains a popular figure among many Brazilians to this day. Let's see what some locals had to say about the conviction. I don't think there was a reason for the sentence. I don't think he should have been sentenced. It hasn't come too early or too late. I think the judge was very clever in writing the sentencing. It doesn't matter how important you are. The law is above all of us. You have to follow the law. If Lula did something wrong, and apparently he did, he has to pay for his crimes. I don't believe in the type of justice Judge Sergio Moro practices. He chooses people. He has his political parties. He doesn't look at the evidence. Well, as you saw there, many Brazilians are divided on the matter. And now if the conviction stands in an appeals court, Lula would obviously be prevented from running, which would leave the presidential race wide open for political outsiders. For One America News, I'm Thaisi Parenti. Patrick. All right, we'll, we'll see what happens there. Thank you, Thaisi.